Hello, fellow engineers, and welcome to Learn to Fly 3. Now, this should be a proper nostalgia trip, and although Flash is gone, rest in peace. There's still some shady ways to get the game running. All right, so let's play, and we'll select a new game, number five. So this is Paul the Penguin, and Paul has a dream, a dream of flying, and our job is to engineer him into space. This penguin wants to fly, so to start, we're going to be putting him on a coil. This is just a big spring, which is pretty stiff. Now, now, children. And should take us to space, give or take a few inches. So we've got our coil attached. Let's give her a launch. Boing! <laughs> oh god, it's okay. I can actually make him flip as well. Go on, land it, land it. Right, so for our launches, we gain money for high altitude, good airtime, and a fast max speed. In total, we've got $17. So we have the option to upgrade our coil from level 1 to level 2. And that increase the power and max lift. So let's see what that does. Oh god, we got a bit of the sound barrier being broken visually there. We gained $21 for our troubles. So as well as our launch, we also have a body, stages, and boosts. So if we go into body, we can put our penguin in an extremely aerodynamic trash can, which comes complete with a very punny seal of approval. In our stages, we can add a balloon, which are space program grade balloons. None of this fancy party crap. And boost, which look the most useful so far. They add auxiliary rockets to the side. But for now, let's just test our trash can, spring, and balloon combo. There he is. <laughs> He's got a banana peel on his head. Oh, the balloon was like shooting underneath. So he made $30 then. So we got 58 quid. I think we should invest into our coil. And maybe a few more balloons as well. So we got double springs. And look at that balloon. We are going high. I can actually steer this as well. So. <laughs> no. So that was a cool 53 quid we made. I think we're just going to keep upgrading the coil. Boing! <laughs> oh, we passed a kite. Nice. This was the first time we got some airtime, Dosh. So we made two quid out of that. So we're moving in the right direction. So upgrades are getting expensive now. This coil upgrade to level 7 costs 67 big ones. And to get it max level will be 100 quid. So let's hope this proper launches us up. Boing! <laughs> oh, we are flying. There's a paper aeroplane up here. That's how you know you're high. All right, got 63 quid. Not enough for the next spring upgrade, but we can upgrade our balloon. Oh, we got an achievement. Let me go high. And our highest monetary gain so far, 77 quid. Now we have 111 and we can afford the max coil upgrade. Boosh. Gotta upgrade them all. That's right. We can also upgrade our trash can. So let's see what level two does. I think it looks like only the top speed increases. I'm not entirely sure what they do with that. Maybe remove some of the trash. All right, now we've got a big chunky boy spring <laughs> oh and there's a bird was that a bird or a bat oh, i think that was a good launch yes 90 quid this is turning out to be quite a profitable venture all right i think it's time to max out our balloon and i think we'll upgrade our trash can as well so this increases top speed yet again and reduces the weight oh yes he's got a lid on his head now and the balloon is round i think we need to do a flip oh no that was stupid that was stupid <laughs> I did a celebratory flip and it, it ruined my height. Yeah, best ever max speed, but not altitude. That was that was all my fault. Uh, but we did it enough to upgrade the trash can again. So we can upgrade to a level 4 trash can. And we actually have enough to max out our trash can. I can only imagine how good this is going to look. Last time we were given a lid. Oh my goodness, we're recycling people. <laughs> oh, look at our balloon. It's taking us high. Mind that one-eyed bird. Was that a flappy bird? <laughs> I think that was flappy bird. <laughs> Ah, oh, yes, triple digits for the day. It's as easy as one, two, three. All right, so now we've upgraded everything. Let's try a boost. I sort of want to see what the auxiliary rockets are like. So we'll give them a go. We can afford to level them up to level four instantly. So we'll do that. Ready? Boosh. I don't know how to do the rockets. Oh, there you go. We've now got rockets. Oh my God, we are going so high. I don't know if I did this at the right time. Would it have been best to do it straight off for extra boostage? Or do I do the right thing waiting till we're about to slow down? 238 big ones. I think we'll max upgrade them. I think it might be time to swap our trash can. We had fun, but I think we want something a lot more aerodynamic. Like a cardboard box. All right, let's give this a go. We're on a massive spring. <laughs> we are flying. Right, let's get the rockets out. You've never seen a box like this. Oh, we are slowing right down. Come on, keep going higher. Keep going higher. Oh, Paul looks so cute in that box. It looks like an orphaned penguin, like one that's been left on the doorstep on Christmas Eve. Right, so we didn't go as high as our max level recycling bin. But if we upgrade our cardboard box, we can go to a plastic crate. We can even go all the way to a wooden crate. Now, the other benefit of the crate over the trash can is we get an extra stage. So we can go into this slot and we can add more balloons or we can try something else. Maybe some fireworks. And let's upgrade them as much as we can. All right, let's launch this. Ready? Boosh. All right, boost us up. I don't know how to do the fireworks. 
Oh, fireworks are a go. Fireworks are a go. We are flying. Oh, we got some bonus earnings that time. And a total of $322. So fireworks, very good. Can we upgrade them even more? We can also add another boost. We can add more auxiliary rockets. I don't know how that will look, but uh, we've now got double the rockets on this one. All right, ready, ready. Balloon's about to run out. So now we hit our rockets. Oh, we do have double and the fireworks are away. We nearly hit a plane. Oh my God, we're cruising. That firework just exploded. Yes, we finally did it. We earned a funny number, 420. <laughs> Right, we can max out our auxiliary rockets. And I think sort of going with the wind helps us get a bit more lift. Because you don't want to be fighting the wind. I think this might just edge us up slightly. Oh, so let's see how high we are. Oh, so not as good as the day before. Back to 411. Yeah, but our max speed was faster. All right, so we can upgrade the fireworks to max as well. So now we're completely maxed out on upgrades. Let's see how high we can go. Boing! Right, I'm going to wait for the balloon to run out. And then, oh no, we hit, a, we hit a kite. Oh, and we hit a plane. This is terrible, but our, our fireworks are stripey, which makes it all worthwhile. Oh, Flappy Bird hit us as well. <laughs> that was a disaster. I am going to assume hitting stuff isn't good. Oh, 460. Thankfully, our upgrades more than made up for it. All right, so this game gives you the option to sell things. So I can go on my crate and I can sell that for 145 quid. However, as we learned, the body comes with different slots. So I've got two stage slots and two boost slots. I'm a bit concerned if I sell this, we'll go back to no slots and then I'll lose these. For example, if we look at the fireworks, I could sell those for 1400 quid. So yeah, a bit worried if I sell the crate, they're then gone forever. Shall we try it? Why not? Oh God, this could be a disaster. Go back to empty. Oh, okay. So we've still got them. They're just locked. So that's good. That is good. I didn't lose my hard earned cash there. Right. I think we're going to have a little go in the ejector seat because we're sort of, we're using the springs and this looks like it has a spring built in. So we'll try the level one to start and see how this compares to our crate. So we're going up pretty good. Get our rockets out and our fireworks. Oh, damn kite. Oh, damn plane. Oh, we ejected out the seat at the end. That's what the ejector seat does. Interesting. A sneaky bit of extra height. And that was actually our record as well. So well worth doing. Right then, let's level up our ejector seat. Oh wow, this is only level two. This is a proper like army ejector seat. I take it from a military jet. All right, the fireworks are launching us higher and higher. I think sort of go with the wind a bit. Should give us a bit of extra lift. I'm ready, ejector seat. Damn. <laughs> All right, good job, Paul. All right, so with this ejector seat, we can add a third stage. But I think for now, we'll just keep upgrading the seat. So this next one increases top speed and the ejection force. So we should go a little bit higher. All right, come then, Paul. Boing, you got this. Oh, we hit a paper airplane. Do not worry. The rockets are out and the fireworks are good. Get ready, Paul. We're going to be ejecting. Boosh. Yes, good work. Did you remember your parachute? Did you remember your parachute? 608 quid. I think that's a record. All right, so I want to launch these rockets straight off just to see if it does help. I assume it doesn't. I launched everything straight away. The fireworks seem to wait until a certain height or maybe for the balloon to run out. But we'll see how high this one is. I'm going to suspect it's not as high, but it's always good to check these things. 633. Oh, wow. Okay, so it was the highest altitude we've ever got. And that was by launching everything straight away. Interesting. All right, we can now max out our eject seat. Oh, and look at that. We've got a Lamborghini seat, people. Paul is traveling in comfort all the way to space. Oh my god, we are flying. We're going so fast. Boosh. Oh, I went a bit sideways there, but it should be good. Yes, 679 quid. What shall we spend this on? All right, I sort of want to see what another launch is like. So if we get rid of the coil, we can put him in a slingshot. So this is level one slingshot. Oh, and this slingshot is actually manual. We've got to hold down the key to pull, but be careful not to pull too much. So we've got a little baby penguin helping. Is that your son, Paul? Ready? Boosh. Oh, that really did not go well, I don't think. We're boosting straight off in the fireworks. That was really, really bad, I think. Did I cock it up? I don't know what happened. <laughs> oh, my mistake. That was incredible. Okay, that was our best one yet. And that was level one slingshot. We can afford to max this out straight away. And uh, because it's a bigger slingshot, we've got four little helpers. I didn't know you had so many children, Paul. You sure you should be risking your life like this? <laughs> Don't want to leave them homeless in a cardboard box. All right, come on, my little penguin dudes. Ready? Boosh. Oh, we are up. We are up. Get ready. Rockets away. And then the fireworks. Boosh. All right, go with the wind. Go with the wind. Ready? Eject. Oh, that's a strong eject. It is a strong eject. 
asset pool. How do we do? Oh, not our best. I'm thinking, actually, I've got to launch everything straight away. We'll do that again, exactly the same. So we made 709 total there. So we'll do exactly the same, but we'll launch our rockets instantly. Let's see, is it any better? All right, Paul, how do you think we did? 732. Interesting. All right, I'm sort of thinking we add another stage. We got the capacity, and I am enjoying the fireworks, so maybe we double up the max level fireworks. All right, come on, my little children. Ready? Boosh. Oh, I think I've got it. If they go red, red is bad. I thought red was good. You just didn't want them to break. I think as soon as the slingshot goes red, it's not fully utilized. Oh, we got more fireworks now. Oh, wow, this is insane. Yep, this is... I should have done this a lot earlier. Oh, we are so high now. That's gonna smash the record. 1,300 quid. Okay, that's the new tactic. Screw you, balloons. We are selling you. We're adding more fireworks. So we're maxed out on the fireworks. We know the slingshot works. Break a record, right. So we don't want anything to go red here. Ready? Now. Oh, nice. Fireworks are away. I don't know when to do the extra boosters. I've done them now. We're going higher and higher and higher. Oh, I went past a balloon. Oh, this is definitely a new record. I have not seen some of this stuff. There's someone gliding up there. 1,600 quid for one launch. Right, maybe we should try some different boosts. So we'll sell our booster and swap it for... Oh my god, mini helpers. Oh, <laughs> All right, so we've got two sets of mini helpers, level four and level three. I have no idea what they do, but uh, <laughs> let's see what happens. Oh, look, they're attached to my seat. <laughs> Paul, you've got eight kids. <laughs> and four of them are going with you. Okay, so the mini helpers. Oh, they've, they've, where have they gone? <laughs> oh, goodness. All right, I'm not sure they're going to be better than the rockets, if I'm honest. I'm going to try and stay straight. So that is the key to being efficient, I think. Ignore the wind. Just stay straight. Ready, an ejector. Oh, 49,000 feet. I assume they're feet. How did we do? We, we got a we got a record. We got a record. The little helpers did help. But I'm interested to see what we could swap our object seat with. Maybe a rocket kit. All right, so we'll sell our fireworks. They were fun. They were fun. Sell our mini helpers. We're going completely back to the drawing board. So we got 13 grand. I want to try the rocket kit maxed out. That's half of our money gone. As our launcher, I'm going back to the coil. Keep it simple. But then for our stages, I'm going to add more rockets because this is a rocket kit. I'm also going to add more rockets as our boosters and we'll upgrade these and then we'll upgrade our rocket as well. So at the moment, it looks like that. Just a cool two grand gets us that. So we've still got five grand in the bank. So maybe we will upgrade our coil afterwards, but let's see how this launches. Ready? It looks like he knows what he's doing. Oh, wow. It's really flying. Fair play. Uh, I really don't know when to do the other boosters. We seem to be doing all right. Ah, we hit a plane, we hit a plane. Right, as our rocket's running out, I think maybe we do the auxiliary ones. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, now our other rocket's on. Oh, this is going to go way higher. We're already at 50,000 feet. Oh, I should have done this a long time ago. A long time ago. Can we get 60,000? Yes. Oh, we couldn't get 69,000. That's a shame. That is a shame. All right, that was pretty incredible. Let's sell our launcher. And I want to I wanna try out the grenade. <laughs> Ever since I saw that, I've been like, what? So we'll try the level one grenade first, just to see how it works. <laughs> There's a little... I think that's Paul's granddad, Papa John. He was in the army and he, he saved a grenade. He was meant to give it in after the war, but uh, he saved it. Right, perfect throw. Ready? Oh, boosh! <laughs> that proper launched us up. Right, it's all about just keeping us straight, I think. Auxiliary rockets away! Oh, it's a bit windy up here. It's a bit windy, boys. We've hit 60,000, though. Oh, can we get to 69? Please, please, please. Oh, 65. Close. Very close. We just knocked a glider out the sky. Sorry. <laughs> right, that was our best yet by far. So I think we'll max out the grenade. We go from a frag grenade to a stick grenade all the way to... What the hell is that? Where the hell did you get that from, Papa John? Anyway, I your throw in. Ready? Great throw, Papa John. Head down. Boosh. Oh my goodness. Did you see how high that was? <laughs> We're at 37,000 already. Right, it's all about when do I do the auxiliary rockets. I keep doing it when it runs out, but I'm not sure if that's the best idea. Oh, well, stick to the plan. Auxiliary rockets away. And then swap to our big boy rocket, which has quite a pathetic flame at the bottom, if I'm honest. Oh, wow, but we are going high. Oh, no, we hit a bloody balloon, though. 85 and a half thousand feet. We saw a helicopter was so high. And we got three grand. Right, grenade is definitely worth keeping let's let's just get our money back quick and maybe we'll swap our body 
with a jet. So we've got 13 grand to spend on upgrades. I think as we're in a jet, we'll try out this pulse jet. So it says here it requires a bit of speed to work 100%. Now, thankfully, our grenade is going to launch us like nothing else. So I think that should be fine. I think we'll add two pulse jets. And then maybe for our boost, we'll add some fins. We haven't really used the fins yet. So three lots of fins. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> Look at the fins on the edge. So stupid. <laughs> right, ready? Boosh! Oh, God. Um, it was going well, but uh, <laughs> these rocket things are shit. <laughs> We're falling down. Yeah, well, at least he's going to have a soft landing, I guess. Okay, that was a bit of a disaster. Let's, let's get rid of the fins. I don't think they did anything. And we'll go back to our auxiliary rockets. The tried and tested. So we'll max out all the auxiliaries. And then maybe the pulse jets. We might want to upgrade those as well. So we've got a level 8 and a level 5. Our jet is only level 1 still. But uh, let's see how this does. You can see on our graph here, we're making great progress. That's our height every time. Up to 85,000 and then... Yeah, that was terrible. Right, ready? Come on, Papa John. Get that great throw. Nice. Boosh. Oh, we are flying. We are flying. We hit some debris on the way up, though. Right. I fired the auxiliaries. We are going up. We're doing okay. I don't... I really don't know if our, these things are any good. They're about to run out. Swap to the next one. Oh, this could actually be the one where we hit 69,000. Oh, it is actually going to be. I'm looking at the fuel. Oh, we're just over. No, go get that down. Go get that down. I want to get 69. Oh... <laughs> right, two and a half grand, and we had a meme altitude, so I call that a win. All right, I think we'll leave it there for today, guys. Plenty more to unlock next time. Uh, I will engineer a way for Paul to get into space, but uh, we'll just have to wait. All right, peace, love, and penguins, and I'll catch you next time. Cheers, guys. Bye. <laughs>